Good evening everyone, my name is Miguel Fuentes and today is Wednesday, August the 28th. Uh, good thing that I did not get fired for missing work on Saturday because of my low blood sugar. I don't, I don't think I get fired because I have diabetes. So, <clears throat> so uh, today um, I'm going to take a different approach today. Um, uh, why I use multiple translations. Um, and I'm going to be reading a few scriptures that talks about the Word of God. And um, just explain, you know, why, uh, why do this. So before we get started, let's pray first. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise, Lord. We worship you, Lord, for who you are, Father. And, and Lord, I just thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to really seek your face. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you give it, the, give it the boldness, Lord. Give it the strength, Lord, to, to not be afraid of speaking the truth, Lord, and speaking the truth in love. And Father, I thank you so, so much, Father, that we come together as the body of Christ, and that we worship you, and that we edify each other, and uh, we praise you, we glorify you, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. All right, so... Turn with me in Psalms 119. I'm just going to be reading 1 through 35. And I'm going to be reading out of the modern English version uh, for now. Um, so, it says, Bless are those who walk Sorry, bless are those who ways is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Bless are those who keep his testimonies, and who seek him with all their heart. They also do no wrong, they walk in his ways. You have commanded us to keep your precepts delinquent. Delinquently, oh, that my ways were established to keep your statutes. Then I shall not be ashamed when I have my focus on all your commandments. I will praise you with an upright heart when I learn your righteous judgment. I will keep your statutes. Do not complete abandon me. How shall a young man keep his way pure by keeping it according to your word? With my whole heart I seek you. Do not allow me to wander from your commandment. Your word I have hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the decrees of your mouth. I rejoice in the way of your testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and keep my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Deal kindly with your servant that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things from your law. I am a sojourner in the land. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is consumed all the time with a longing for your decrees. You have rebuked the proud those cursed who depart from your from your commandments remove from me reproach and contempt for I have kept your testimonies even if prince 
sat and concealed against me, your servant will meditate on your statutes. Your testimony on my delight in my counselors. Counselors. My soul clings to the dust. Revive me according to your word. I have declared my ways and you heard me. Teach me your statutes. Make me to understand the way of your precepts. Then I will... So, sorry, uh, then I shall contemplated, no, contemplate on your wondrous works. My soul collapses on account of grief. Strengthen me according to your word. Remove from me the way of falsehood and, gla and, yeah, and graciously grant me your law. I have chosen the way of faithfulness, you, uh, your judgments I have laid before me. I have stayed with your testimonies, O Lord. May I not be put ashamed. I will run in the way of your, of your commandments when you set my heart free. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes. And I will keep it to the end. Give me understanding and I shall keep your law. And observe it with my whole heart. Lead me in the path of your commandment. For I delight in them. Okay. Then Hebrews chapter 4. I think I can read. Second Timothy chapter three as well. Verse sixteen. Um Hebrews chapter four verse twelve. For the word of God is active sorry is alive and active, and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the even to the division of, of soul and spirit, of joints and marrow and able to judge the thoughts and the intent of the heart. Okay. And then Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. All scripture is inspired by God and is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for instructions in righteousness. So... First thing I just want to say, you know, um, you know, when, when I was about to be a mature Christian, um, I kind of stumbled across these King James only people or Christians, as they say, and uh, they told me, you know, uh, we believe that the King James Version is perfect translation. And if you don't believe that the King James Version is a perfect translation and that it is used for everyday Christians, um, then you're not safe. And my response to this is that, well, I, you know, I have my King James Version. And and when I read the King James Version, I don't see any you know, anything related to keeping the word keeping the King James Version uh, as a salvational issue. I just don't see that in Scripture. Uh, and, and not only that, I don't see God preserves the King James Version in Scripture. I just don't see it. Now, I do read sometimes the King James. I do have like a parallel Bible with the the modern English version and the King James. Um, and in, in my first thought is that, you know, I am not a only or onlyest person. For example, I'm not a King James only. I'm not NIV only. I'm not uh, New American Standard only. I'm not the message only. I'm... I'm not all that stuff. I'm not into that stuff. Because understand that, you know, if you look at church history, 
we see Erasmus as a Roman Catholic priest. Uh, translated the uh, Latin Vulgate, what was now called in, uh, in the Greek, called the uh, Texas Receptus or the TR or the Received Text. And yeah, you know, that's what you know the modern English version is out of the TR and also the King James, the New King James, the American King James. Okay, because you know, I'm not. The reason why I don't do only his stuff is that it's just plain stupid. I hate to say it because, you know, I don't see scripture relate to, you know, if you don't use the King James, you're not safe. And to my response, well, uh, that's that's a big loyalty to a dead guy. So, you know, Jesus you know, is Lord. Jesus is my Savior. You know, period. You know, I read the Word of God, you know. You know, it, it's my responsibility as a minister is that I'm reading through the Word of God in a in a biblical way or a, a um, or doing exegesis type of way, basically. And so I'm not really a onist person. I'm not claiming anything, you know, I don't, I don't see scripture that, you know, all that stuff. So, for me, number two, is that I use different translations, not only for Bible reading. Um, from right now, I'm reading the whole entire Bible with two month, uh, in two months, so sorry, every two months, reading from different translations. And so far, I read it from the King James, the Holy Christian Standard, the the um hold on I got my list in my bullet journal can't remember top of my head let's see here all right so I read it from the modern English version the Holman Christian Standard Bible, the today's NIV, the King James, and now I'm reading it from the Common English Bible. Um, and you know, you know, for me, I'm I'm starting to have a habit of reading the Word of God each and every day, and reading it the whole entire Bible within two months, because because the Bible says that we should be. Uh, we we should be getting into the word of God. We should be uh, letting the word be instructions for righteousness, um, instead of bashing people in the head. We just say, hey, hey, look, you know, this is what the word says: homosexual is sin. You know, there's, there's no if, buts, when. You know, nothing. That's what the word of God says, and that we got to be obedient to the word of God. Now, now I see, you know. A lot of King James audience would say, well, these other versions are perversion. Well, if that's true, then why I got saved when my pastor was preaching using the English, the English Standard Version? Because it's not the translation that, that, that got me saved. It's Jesus that got me saved. Not the translation. And so, why use multiple translations? Not only that I can read from, but also, number three, I use different translations for study. And I compare it to the Greek or the Hebrew. Um, I always go back to the, or the ordering language that it's come from. Because if I look at the only language, you know, in context, things will make sense. Like, oh, no wonder the King James turns like this way. Because the Greek, the Greek word has more than one meaning. Um, you know, and, and really, I use the strong accordance. I use the lexicon. I use the necessary tools to study, uh, to do a word study. 
And when I use a word study, not only I use the interlinear Bible um, and, 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 and use the Strong's Recordance to really, you know, make sure that this is really an accurate translation. I, I believe that the King James is an accurate, uh, accurate translation, but it's not 100% perfect. After the, the original 1611 King James, sorry, King James Version, uh, after that, they did so many revisions because the English, the, the, the English started to evolve a little bit, and then by the late 1800s, the, the revised, the revised standard version was created, the, um, and all that stuff, the, the history of the Bible translations. So I definitely use different translations to study. Um, I got eSword, I use different translations there. I use um, other Bible study softwares. I use you know, Bible Gateway. I use other Bible study tools, online stuff. And I start saying the word. And I'm not ashamed of of studying to show myself a proof unto God uh, and dividing the word, dividing the word of truth. You know, really, really, that that's the whole part of you know of my study. And yes, you know, I do, you know. The modern English, English version is my favorite translation because this is like the modern version of the KJV. Uh, and I compare it to the King James, King James version and the modern English version. And the, the, the whole context of scripture is the same thing. Yet without the these and doubts. You know. And considerably this is this is probably my second favorite favorite translation than the than, than the New King James. So all I got to say this is that number four, the Holy Spirit is a teacher. The Holy Spirit is a teacher because if you go, if you're going to start judging people by what they read, at least you know be fruitful about it. At least you show. You know the Holy Spirit within you. You know, because if you're not loving other brethren, because they read a different translation than you, you know you may need to recheck your heart. You may reconsider. You know, asking the Holy Spirit what I did wrong, because your attitude, uh, because understand that. People can sense an attitude of some sort. And, um, you know, people will judge you because of what you read. And I'm not ashamed of using multiple translations. If you, if you want to break fellowship with me because I use multiple translations instead of using just one translation, you know, feel free to, uh, to this fellowship because I'm not going to be the one to you know trying to unite the body of Christ together if we're going to fight and argue about what translation is the true word of God and and it and, and all these things but that, that's not my thing my thing is to teach you the word of God and let you study for yourself if it's if it's true or not that that that's it you know that, that's why I let the Holy Spirit be the teacher because not only God reveals things through the scriptures, but I also understanding what does it mean that really applies to my life. And, and, and not only that, to be doers of the word. Okay? So, understand, you know, I'm not here to judge you if you are a King James Onius. You know, or if you if you use the NIV or the 
the uh, New Living Translation or now the, the, there's some for versions out there I, I may mention uh, the New World Translation is for the Jehovah Witnesses uh, there's a King James Version uh, that's for the Mormons there's a King James Version for the Freemasons um, all these things um, now I, I really I rarely use paraphrase Bibles such as the Message, the Living Bible, the New no no sorry uh, the Passion Translation uh, is very very rare. Um, usually if I want to read these you know versions, I gotta make sure I fill with the Holy Spirit because these these Bibles ain't good you know they they're really watered down. Um, but I'm, I'm okay using the, the New Living Translation as a thought for thought, a thought for thought translation. And I used it once in a while. So, yeah, so, I'll close with this. Um, I do not judge others for using different translations, you know. If you want to use the English Standard Version, go right ahead if you want to use the King James go right ahead if you want to use the near American standard Bible go right ahead because I'm not going to judge you because the love of God in me wants to love you not only that I want to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth and my goal not only as a minister but as a follow brethren I want to spread the gospel so much that I'm willing, I'm willing to give you a free Bible, you know, I'm willing to, to introduce to you, um, the word of God, and, and, you know, strange it may be, you know, God is still good, God is still, still good, um, and I learn a lot when I use different translations, when I go back to the Greek and Hebrew, when I go uh, study um, the history of the church and how they went through. Um, I mean, <laughs> so, yeah, so that's all I got for today, folks. Uh, hope that you guys have a great, great uh, evening. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, you know, comment down below what you think. Um, you know, I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to, you know, bring out my own opinion. I just, you know, just write down in the comments, you know, what you think. Um, what topics are you want me to cover next? Um, as a matter of fact, you know, uh, when I was praying this morning, I feel led that the Lord will really want me to start a, another book series, um, either in the book of Ephesians, or possibly maybe one of the Old Testament books, so I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, so may God bless you. And uh, may the Lord keep you. I'll see you guys again next time.